wants the prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. What if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions? What then? A lot of people become discouraged, they become frustrated, and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. Take quitting out your vocabulary. Take it out. Cry if you must. Rest if you must. But the worst thing you can do is quit. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. The standard is the standard. We don't lower it. We compete, we fight, we scrap, we live to fight another day. We don't retreat against nobody. That ain't talent. That's essence. That's core. That's who I am as a person. That's how I get down. That's how I'm coming. That's what that is. And every time you get ready to stop, every time you get ready to quit, that's you as a man. But when you press forward, in the midst of the opposition, in the midst of the adversity, you build a mentality that's going to sustain you 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. If you want unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you don't judge according to appearances. Part of being unreasonable, you can see it because you believe it. That's part of being unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. That's part of being unreasonable. And so I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not, why would you work so hard, Les? I said, I'm not working for them. I've been cheating myself and my family. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail.